You're listening to Battling Opioids, the podcast. Battling Opioids, the podcast, now on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcast, TuneIn, Amazon, YouTube, and now Radio.com. Two, three. Back, Back on my feet. feet. Back on my feet is a national nonprofit organization that serves uh, individuals in transition through the power of running and a really positive community. Staff go into uh, emergency shelter or recovery home, and we kind of give our pitch and say, you know, we're here. We've been around. We have a really solid reputation in Philadelphia. Uh, known to help a lot of people move towards self-sufficiency. And if you're interested, you know, come out and, and meet us. Hey, how are you doing? Back of my feet inspires me. You know what I mean? It, it inspired me to achieve my goals. Like, little goals at a time, but I'm working my way up. In the beginning when I first started out again, you know, I mean, it took me time. Like, I could do a couple miles here and there, but now I'm, I'm up to 20 miles, which I didn't even think I could run 20 miles in three months. I did the Bro Street Run. I did the 5K Super Soga race. I did the coffee run. And I'm working on to doing a half marathon. I do want to do a marathon. My mom abandoned me, you know what I mean? She, she left me with my, her boyfriend and just left me. So, you know, I just, I guess I went wild, you know what I mean? I got depressed. So I started getting high. I started smoking weed first, and then led to other things. I was shooting dope for almost 20 years now, a little over 20 years. Before I got back on my feet family and all that, I was just depressed. I just didn't think nobody cared about me, nobody, you know what I mean? My mom didn't love me. That's all I ever wanted in my life, to be loved for my family, and it just didn't happen. And now I got a family that does and cares about me, and motivates me to do better. They help me, they believe in me, you know what I mean? And that makes me believe in myself that I can do it. I'm proud of myself, you know what I mean? This is by far my, my best effort. Our motto at Back of My Feet is no one runs alone. And I think that's crucial. And for so many of our members, they've been used to functioning alone. So, you know, whether it's going to be a, a solid run and people are feeling good, or if it's going to be a tough run that day, you're going to have someone next to you running right next to you stride for stride. And that goes a long way. A big part of recovery is developing structure in your life, and so entering other organizations or other spheres that have structure built in can be a, a really supportive measure so you don't feel like you're the one holding up the whole structure. Making sure that the day is planned out can really make or break someone's sobriety. It's like get up and making your bed in the morning. You, know? you get up and make your bed, and get, wash your face, you go out and get ready, run, and get your day started. It relaxes me, and my mind just, just I'm not thinking about crazy stuff. I feel good, especially when I'm done. I'm like, all refreshed. I go get a shower. Go get my day started. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You do like laugh and laugh? Well, and then you have all the great kind of dopaminergic, neuropinephrine, serotonin releases that come from exercising that can help increase that mood, reduce reduce stress, um, try to work some of that biochemical balance that we're we're hoping to achieve. Recovery is so much more than just the drug and stop, you know, stopping the drug. It's so much more than that. And these wellness pieces that we're giving people to help them in their recovery are just tools I would give anyone just wanting to live a better quality of life. So it's not necessary to always pathologize the stuff and think of it as treatment, but just as like, this is a healthy lifestyle that I want you to build that doesn't include drugs anymore. We're planting seeds, and what we hope to do is have those individuals take that sense of challenge and continue to implement that in their life once they become self-sufficient. Anyone who goes out running on a consistent basis knows that every run that you go on it doesn't feel good. You're going to have those days where it feels terrible and you don't know if you want to continue doing that. Uh, the same with folks going through recovery. Um, not every day is easy, you know, you're going to have your good days and there's going to be days that are a little bit more challenging, but having the community surrounding that person through those tough days ultimately help bring them to the following day and hopefully that next day is either a better run or an easier day navigating the systems that they're going through. I'm going to continue running, I'm not going to stop running, and I thank God that I got back into running, you know what I mean, because it helps me a lot, it keeps me going. Keeps me not wanting to get high. So it helps me because it frees my mind and gets me like knowing that I can achieve stuff.
Like before, I didn't even care. You know I mean, I had nothing to really care about. I didn't care about myself. I didn't care about nothing. I tell you the truth, I just wanted to die. But I joined this program. Uh, now, now people show me I got something to live for. I mean, I can do it. And achieve my goals. It might take a little bit, but I can do it. Step by step. You know? Little goals at a time. Recovery starts with a call. Call 1-800-662-HELP or visit battlingopioids.org. It doesn't take long to become addicted to opioids. 13 Pennsylvanians die from them every day. Geisinger is committed to ending opioid addiction with both prevention and treatment. In the last three years, we've reduced the amount of opioids we prescribe by 50%. And we've opened four medication-assisted treatment centers across the state to help patients recover from addiction. Learn more at geisinger.org slash have enough.